Breaking Gulf News Cairo, a controversial ban ordered by Egypt's main public university on the niqab, a face covering veil worn by some Muslim women, has fueled debate ahead of the country's parliamentary election slated for later this month. Earlier this week, Cairo University barred its female teachers from wearing the niqab while doing their job, a move that has drawn a sharp criticism from the ultra-conservative Salafists. This decision violates the law and constitution. It constitutes discrimination against a certain group of people due to their religion, said Yasser Burhamai, a leading Salafist. The niqab does not violate the Islamic Sharia. Some Islamic scholars even consider it obligatory. Therefore, the university's ban on the niqab is an infringement of women's right to wear it. Burhamai urged the university to scrap the decision or face lawsuits. The head of Cairo University Jaber Nasser has denied that the ban is politically or religiously motivated. The aim of the decision is purely educational. It seeks to enhance direct communication between the student and the teacher. It will not be expanded beyond the lecture halls or applied to female students. Burhamai is a senior leader in the Salafist Dawah backslash, call backslash, an umbrella group for the ultra-conservative al Nawar party, which is the only Islamist force contesting the two-round legislative elections due to begin on October 18. A member of al Nawar calling himself Rabi al-Salaf posted the Cairo University's ban on his Facebook account, urging people to vote for the party in the elections. Lest the authorities order the removal of the niqab in the street, you should vote in favor of al Nawar, he said. In recent months, secularists have stepped up criticism of al Nawar, accusing it of manipulating religion for political gains. al Nawar is reviving the tactics of the Muslim Brotherhood by portraying themselves as the guardians of Islam, said Hassan Sobhi, an anti-Islamist activist. Egyptians are already fed up with the exploitation of religion in politics. Al Nawar should learn a lesson from the black end of the Brotherhood. In 2013, Islamist President Mohamed Mursi of the Brotherhood was deposed following enormous street protests against his rule. Al Nawar backed Mursi's ouster. Months later, the Brotherhood was outlawed and designated a terrorist organization. Dozens of lawsuits have recently been filed in Egypt requesting the dissolution of al Nawar for allegedly violating a constitutional article banning the establishment of political parties on religious grounds. The party has repeatedly denied the accusation and is fielding Christian candidates in the coming elections. al Nawar was one of several Islamist parties licensed after the 2011 uprising that forced longtime President Hosni Mubarak out of power. The party had 25 per center of seats Indiana the 2012 Islamist-led parliament. The legislature was dissolved in June that year by the country's top court. Egypt has since been without a parliament.